podcast. Hello and welcome back to the Brew Games podcast. This is episode 15, New Harvest. I'm Adam Eliason. And I'm Joe Evans. And we're back. We're back. So, yeah, we uh, have a little bit of a special treat for you guys in this episode. Uh, normally we'd be reviewing a game that we played that we were challenged to the previous episode and talking about that and showing the footage on the YouTube version. However, we wanted to give you guys a little bit of a treat since it's been such a long time since we did a podcast episode. So Like a year, almost? Yeah. So um, we got something lined up at the end of this episode um, where we're going to play Footlol, which is the game we were challenged to. By Dano, if you'll yeah. remember. Yeah. But we're going to play it against each other, just us. Best of three. And uh, there's a bit of a constraint involved, which you'll have to stay tuned and find out. It's going to be fun, I think. Yeah. It should be a lot of fun. But uh, let's get into the beers that we're going to be reviewing. Okay. So uh, I'll start with the one that I got for you. Awesome. So I got you the Kelp Stout from nice. Tofino. So I've heard about this. I think yeah. you talked about this. I uh, did, yeah. So... Uh, out of Tofino, BC, out on the West Coast, uh, the label here says, If there's one sentiment that's constantly repeated among craft beer drinkers, it is, This beer is good, but it needs more seaweed. If we've heard it once, we've heard it a thousand times. I think I say that every day. Well, folks, message received. Tofino Brewing Company presents to you the Kelp Stout, a dark, rich, full-bodied ale brewed with healthy, oh, sorry, locally harvested kelp, giving a unique umami type quality to this complex beer nice i'm excited so it comes in at six percent abv um there's no mention of what ibu it's at at all probably pretty low being a stout um a bit of history on the brewery itself they actually started in 2011 so they're fairly recent but I yeah i've heard heard of them many times yeah, so um, recently there was a deal made with BC, Alberta, and I believe Saskatchewan, combining them into like a, a craft beer alliance, a beer alliance of some sort, to push their products among each other a lot more. So we're starting to get a lot of BC stuff that we didn't get before, nice. which is exciting because before, for myself anyways, to get to Fino Beer... Um, our camera woman, Monique, she goes out to Tofino every two years and, and she would bring it. back either bottles or a growler worth of beer. So yeah, it was started by, uh, three gentlemen, uh, Brian O'Malley, Chris Newfield and Dave McConnell. And they hired their brewmaster who trained in England in 2002. And, uh, just before they hired him to work for Tofino, he used to work for Whistler. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. We've had Whistler on this, haven't we? The I ma- think we've maple had, chai. yeah, the yeah. maple chai, yeah. So, nice. yeah, so he went from Whistler and uh, helped out Tofino, and he's been there ever since, and uh, they started off with just five beers, and now they're up to 10 or 11 now. We were looking at the list of beers that uh, we didn't even realize they existed. they got Sours now, they've got oh, nice. double IPAs, they've got dark lagers. We're going to have to get some then. So... Hopefully that stuff's going to start coming over soon as well. Because all I've seen in the, in the store so far is their Hop Cretan IPA, their uh, Tough Session Ale, mm-hmm. their um, Spruce Tree Beer, the Kelp that Stout. I would have gotten that one. Yeah. That one not up. very many stores have it, but some do have it. And then the Kelp Stout. That's pretty much all I've seen from Tofuno here so far. Oh, so you got the Kelp Stout from here? I did. Nice. Yeah. Okay. So, what are your thoughts on it? The initial smell, I didn't smell anything. Okay. Which is okay, like porters aren't terribly strong sometimes, but uh, once you uh, once you taste it, it does taste a lot like seaweed. Okay. Like, I don't know, have you tried it yet? Or? I haven't tried it yet, but I've got more bottles, so. Nice. You want to try a sip? For your sure. Own? Or you, here, you can pour yourself some. Okay. <laughs> I'll just drink from the bottle. That works too. I'll need my glass for the... Beer from you. Right. Been a while since we've done one of these. <laughs> That's really tasty. It is. It doesn't 
like punch you in the face with seaweed. So if you like, if you're not a seaweed fan, then uh, you, a, you could still enjoy it. It's like yeah. a very light stout. Like yeah. most stouts are like heavy. But this one feels light for some reason. Like it is. Yeah. Very it's, very approachable. Very easy to drink. I wouldn't have more than one. I don't think. No. Like in a sitting. Yeah. I guess you could say that about a lot of stouts. Yeah, though. most stouts yeah. don't really have more than one usually. <laughs> oh, uh, doesn't quite taste what I expected, but I like it. Yeah, yeah. So, what would you be able to relate it to, <laughs> if anything? Kind of like a. I don't know even what you call it, but I remember in grade two we had uh, we made tea out of like seaweed. Okay. That's... I don't remember ever doing that, but... Okay, well, I don't remember Texas Donut Day, so... <laughs> um, Different times, I guess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Different cities. But, yeah. uh, so that's what it reminds me of. Okay. Which, I guess, makes sense, because it's seaweed in a like, liquid form. That's kind of fun but, little, uh, like, tidbit that it reminds you of, like, back in grade two. Yeah. It's actually kind of neat. Yeah, we went to a French class, another class, to do it, and yeah. It's like we're learning about Asia or China, maybe. Probably. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. So very interesting. If you uh, if you see it in the stores, I would recommend trying one for sure. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot to mention it is rated on Beer Advocate and Rate Beer. You can take those scores with a grain of salt, but they're a nice little kind of ballpark range of what you can expect. Mm -hmm. But with this one, it's kind of a weird uh, divide between the two sites. Beer Advocate, they're giving it an 85, which I would give it that. Yeah, me too. Uh, but Rate Beer, they're giving it a 56. So I'm not sure what their issue is with it, but I'm sure uh, you can go to the page and read people's comments on it. Yeah, I don't think it deserves a 56. Yeah, it was 56, and then the, for the style, it was like a 45 or something. So I'm not sure. Maybe mm. they just didn't like the idea of them going kelp. In their stout, maybe maybe they're like very beer purists. Yeah, like stout is stout. You can't mess with stout. Yeah, and to those guys, I just say, <laughs> craft beer is all about trying something new. So that's right. So what do you got for me? I have the Phillips Cereal Killer cereal, spelled like the green cereal, which uh, we've had Phillips on the show before. We have. I don't like to talk about it. <laughs> if you remember back in episode four when Tyson was on the show, yeah, he brought first the guest. ginger beer. But uh, I feel like that wasn't a true representation of Phillips. Definitely not. Uh, if you guys kept up on our Facebook page during the Christmas holidays there, uh, we were doing the uh, the beer advent calendar from Phillips, the snow case. And that is a true representation of that brewery right? and what it's able to do. The ginger beer just no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's one of the few that we uh we both agreed like do not even try. Yeah, I don't even bother. But uh this is an Imperial Rye lager. And uh actually sorry, we did do the snow case last year too. That's right, in the video so, form. So we've done uh their snow case two years in a row. Mm -hmm. In some form or another. Yeah. So we're not new to Phillips, but uh this one is new. This is the Serial Killer, and it's 7.2%, and it's so new, there is no score on Beer Advocate or Rate Beer. No, I believe it just came out last week. Nice. So, fresh off the presses. Right on. I should have written this down on here, but instead I'm going to have to hold on to the bottle a little <laughs> bit longer. And just read the, uh, the label here. They always have good labels. Yes, they do. <laughs> it's beginning as a full-bodied imperial lager. A murderous amount of rye thickens the plot adding a subtle spice note to a deliciously balanced brew. No twist, pry the cap off, and enjoy this killer rye. It's the Serial Killer from Philips. Nice. <clears throat> so it's coming at 7.2%. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit higher than the Kelp Stout, but not by much. Which was at 6.6. Six. Six. Okay. Yeah, just a flat 6. Something tells me that even this won't be the highest percent beer of the night no <laughs> to allude to the uh end of the episode special 
So I didn't write anything about the history because I think we discussed the history back in episode four. Yeah. But you poured it pretty quick, so there's no empty space. Which is nice. nice caramel color. Yeah, that looks really good, actually. Got just about three fingers of head. It smells like cereal. Really? Yeah, I smell it. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Like a bowl of cereal. Hmm. <laughs> That's for some reason the reaction. first thought I had is you know like when you have like a bowl of like Cheerios or something and then you have the milk left over and you drink that milk. Yeah. It kinda of has that like very cereally kind of yeah. enrichment in the milk. So I'm getting off this beer as my initial impression. Okay. A lot of people don't drink that milk as I found out from browsing the internet one day. Really? When, yeah, they'll eat, they throw they'll it out? eat the cereal with all the milk. Yeah. And then once the cereal's gone, they dump out the milk. What? <laughs> What's wrong with you people? <laughs> That's like the best part. It's like it gets the wash down all the like I, the I cereal that kind of gets stuck in your esophagus. I wouldn't call it the best part. No. It depends on what kind of cereal you have. I guess. Like cinnamon toast crunch. It's good then. Yeah. <laughs> Very That's <true>. a good milk. <laughs> So what do you think? It's really good. It's very easy to drink. Um, nothing really standing out and punching you in the face. Uh, you got the rye there. Um, you got that kind of cerealness to it, but uh, it's not really like I was expecting a bit more of a an alcohol to it. I guess being called an imperial and being seven point two. Yeah, typically like imperials will be more of an alcohol kind of flavor flavor to Taste. it that you'll feel the alcohol in it this one yeah. you don't like this one it feels that's like a five percent can be sometimes it's nice to have that kind of alcohol there like um with like a, a trappist beer like you have that alcohol behind it yep and a lot of that i think has to do with the sugars they use as well could be so with this one not having sugars in it that's probably maybe why i'm not really happy with it well, i'm not that maybe I'm happy with it. I don't know. This is a weird beer. Um, I could tell from your initial reaction. Yeah, that you're like, like huh. it's it's good. I was I don't know. You just you're expecting something and then you get something else, which I guess is the plot twist. There you go. I said no no twist. <laughs> Didn't it? Yeah, I said no twist. Just pry off the plot. Oh yeah, and then separately. the plot thickens. Yeah. Yeah, like the subtitle spice note. Like it definitely is very subtle. Um, you don't really grab it at all. Fair enough. But would you... I, uh, I would recommend it. Definitely pick it up. Um, it drinks like a creamy 5%, almost like a cream ale kind of. Oh, nice. So, yeah, it's good. I like it. Right on. It's, uh, so two yeses then? Yeah, two yeses. Definitely pick up both cool. beers. Um... Both around the $8 mark, so not too bad, considering a lot of beers now are like 15 to 18 Yeah, it's getting expensive um, to be These a guys are still drinker. around like 8 to 10 bucks, so they're still on the lower end. And probably that has a lot to do with the uh, the new super group uh, with BC and Saskatchewan, so they're able to bring their beers across at a cheaper right. taxing rate, maybe. Could that also be just the dollar? This is a Canadian beer? Possibly. These are Canadian beers? But... I've been buying other beers, like, for instance, Garrison out east, and their beers are, like, at the $15 mark. It's, I'm pretty sure it's because of that new sin tax that came through. Okay. But where, like, I didn't think everybody was... outside of Alberta is getting taxed quite a bit more. That's why... But it worked out to, like, $2 Muskoka a six-pack. pulled out. Well, Muskoka pulled out because of it. And yeah. Steam Whistle successfully placed an injunction. Right on the tax so that they didn't have to deal with it and so, so it must be big enough that people are getting upset about it and seeking litigation well when you, well of course yeah but when your margins are i think your margins are thinner on your 13 dollar six pack than they are on your 15 dollar 
Bummer. Bummer. Yeah. I don't know. It's something that we need to look into more, I think. But at the same time, it seems like a huge headache. <laughs> like, I know that uh, Painkiller from Booze Reviews discussed it quite a bit in length on one of his uh, his live chat things. Yeah, he did. And, uh, yeah. Anyways, that aside. Should we move on to the games? Yes, we should move on to the games. So... Uh, why don't you start off with the game you're going to challenge me to? Okay, I'm hoping you haven't played this one. It's not on the screen here. Okay. I've uh, heard about or read about this game a few times on Reddit. And someone says, what's a very underrated game? And of course, all the top comment is always like GoldenEye or something that everybody played. Yeah. It's not really, not really an underrated game. But uh, once you scroll through all the all the ones that Shit come posts. up every time, <laughs> yeah. this one always comes up. Okay. And it's Spec Ops The Line. Okay. Yeah, I've actually seen similar posts about that quite often back in the day, so... Nice. I haven't played it, so I don't have much to say about it. I haven't played it either, so... I had the part of the plot ruined for me, but uh, okay. <laughs> apparently the gameplay and, the more importantly, the storyline is uh, really, really good. Okay. Which you don't always get in a shooter, right? Not usually... Not since, like, Bad Company 2. <laughs> well, Call of Duty used to have some good ones, too. Yeah, Modern Warfare 2, I guess. Like, yeah. after that, it just kind of fell apart. It just kind of repeated the same thing over and over. Same with but, Battlefield. Yeah. Like, it's been a while since the shooters had a good story. Yep. Yeah. But, so you haven't played it, so that's the one I pick. So. Okay, perfect. I hope you enjoy it. I'm sure I will. Uh, the game I picked for you is a game that I have actually played. But I see that you haven't played it, and it's A Wolf Among Us. Okay. A Telltale game. Is that another one like the uh, Walking Dead? Yes. Okay. Nice. Yeah. So this one follows, uh, you play as the Big Bad Wolf. Uh, everyone's in like uh, an alternate dimension. Kind of like, I don't know if you've seen the ABC show. Um, oh, it's losing my brain now what it's called what but it's basically it? like all like the fairy tale like characters they're like transported to like this like made up town okay and they're stuck in this town and some of them like remember who they were before and some of them they don't so they kind of like have different personalities and backgrounds or whatever hmm. uh so this game kind of has that same sense where everyone's pretty much humanized and they have to like stay within human form there's some characters that you'll see them like lose their human form and go back to like their original form uh, whatever type of animal they are and uh, it's, it's a really fun game and the choices you make much like the walking dead at the end of each chapter it tells you up against everyone else who's went through that chapter yeah. it tells you like you made this choice and like majority of people made either this. the same choice or the opposite choice right okay so uh, I played it when it first came out, and I kept playing it as chapters released. That was a game that I just was totally hooked on. Uh, so much so that I actually watched not just one other YouTuber go through it, but two different YouTubers go wow. through it just to see what they did different. What they did different. What wow. they might have picked up on that I didn't. Um, I thought it was really, really well done. A lot of fun. Really engaging. So nice. I uh, I've seen people talk about it. I. Had that's how I knew it's kind of like The Walking Dead, but uh, yeah. I, I don't, even, I don't have, haven't seen any screenshots or videos or anything. So actually, that'll be, that'll be good. I think. Yeah. Awesome. So that'll do it for the challenges. I think so. Um, if you guys want to get a hold of us by uh, Twitter, we're at Bruising Games. I'm at Jay Evans. I'm at Alpha Drake. Uh, you can email us bruisinggames at gmail dot com. We've got uh, merch, so if you want to get a t-shirt like this one, or if you want to get a mug, um, we've got cell phone cases. Uh, we actually have a hoodie. I think right now it's out of stock, but hopefully they're going to bring the stock back in for the uh, hoodie. We're so popular, it's out of stock. Yeah. <laughs> so that's on brewgames.spreadshirt.ca. Uh, our website, of course, is brewgames.org, where you can keep up on updates we might post on the blog section. 
We have all our videos listed there. All of our audio episodes are listed there as well. You can go back and watch episode four. Less and Tyson. Yeah. The ginger beer. Yeah. Actually, I'll put the link to episode four in the description as well, just to make it a bit easier sure. for those lazy people that don't want to go through all that rigmarole. I'm one of those lazy people. <laughs> if there's no link included, I'm not going to go search for it. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, that'll do it for episode 15. Other than we're going to cut now to the football, the tournament. football tournament. So, uh, which is luck. Cheers. Yes. <laughs> Cheers. Hey guys, Joe here from Brew Games and Adam. Hey. And uh, welcome to the end of episode 15, where we're going to be doing something that uh, some of you may know of is called Edward 40 Hands. So we're going to tape a 40 to each of our hands. We have to consume one of the 40s before we can actually assist in the game called football. So the way football works is you have a team of football players, uh, European style, not American style football, and you have booby traps, I guess would be the best way to call them. Yeah. Different things you can place onto the field to, to try assist and your assist players. your players or deter the other players. Things like landmines or cows, tornadoes, tornadoes, bombers, um, AT AT cannons. Yeah. Uh, lots of really crazy stuff. There's even portals in here, so like the ball will go in one hole and pop out another hole. Yep. Um, so we get to just sit here and watch our team fail until we finish one of our 40s and then we can start uh, helping them out. Yeah. It is called Football Epic Fail League. Yep. So. And what better way to epic fail than doing Edward 40 hands? That's right. <laughs> So, so our camera woman is gonna take these to our hands. We'll go first. We'll go first. Yeah. Yeah. Now this sucks for me because I'm kind here? of hairy. Need some wax. <laughs> it's gonna be waxed after this. Oh my god! Here we go. So we were planning a best of three, but the matches in this seem kind of short, so it might turn into a best of five or best of however long it takes us to finish these, and then so. Taped anything before? No, <laughs> not like this. Well, let me know. Oh man, good luck okay. guys. Okay, thank you. We still need you to push play on the game though. Ah! <laughs> and that she can somehow manage the match. I, I, I left my uh, cursor for the play button. Okay. How about you? Uh, nope. What do you okay. want me to do? Move the little Just cursor. Play, and the game won't start actually until both of us are in the game. So it's, you can, you can good click play. play. Good play. Cheers. Good luck. Cheers. I uh, should note that uh, I've had 40s before, <laughs> Adam is not. Oh, that's bad. Although it's been probably a good 15 years since I have, so. Okay, you ready? Let's do it. So, I'm really not good at chugging, so I'm probably going to lose this first one here. <laughs> but uh, that's okay. Here we go. Match number one of the Footlol tournament. Your game's recording, right? Me. <laughs> <laughs> Can you hit Alt F9, please? Alt, Alt F9. what? Alt F9. Thank you. <laughs> Good call. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Is your audio recording? Yeah, I got my audio recording. You got the audio? Okay, good. Yeah. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. Go. Waiting for player. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I'm the t I am the top hats. Joe is the cowboy hats, and let's go. Okay. Also, there were never any rules on doing this. Ah, <laughs> oh, come on. 
Uh. Yes. Oh. No, it's facing the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> it's shooting at my own neck. <laughs> oh God. Ah, this is awful. I'm sending players the wrong way. There we go. Oh my god, I just got like four goals. Because you keep dropping multiple balls. <laughs> I'm catching up. 11 8. So it says the match is over already? Or I got like a bonus of money? For some no, reason. no, that's just a bonus. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Should mention, I don't see a timer, do you? Okay. I don't. It's uh, first team to get more than five, to lead by five goals wins this round. Ugh. Oh, this top is terrible. Slow down. Give me a sporting chance. You're taking advantage by trying to get your specials off. See, the problem with my screen is that I don't have my controls anymore. And it's like, probably click that icon, maybe? What, what controls? Like, where your specials are. Really? Oh, these are bad. Yeah, it gave me what? back to the main screen. I think time right now. Are you cheating using uh, your mouse? Ugh. There was never any rules about using the mouse. <laughs> Do you use your mouth? Even with my cheating, or not cheating antics, Joe still won <laughs> 20 to 17. So... <clears throat> Cheers. Cheers. Game number one. Wow, not even a clink, just a... Just a... <laughs> <laughs> Don't need straw, guys? Pretty sure if you use a straw, you get more drunk, because it aerates the beer more. What's aerating the beer gonna do? Cause the uh, vapor to go into your bloodstream quicker. Vapor to go into the your alcohol bloodstream. vapor. He is right. I don't think the vapor goes into your bloodstream. I think you have a heart attack if you get vapor <laughs> in your bloodstream. How do we people do watching my match? recording are gonna be like, wow? Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to uh, click this big circle that takes up like that half my screen. Telling <laughs> you guys to stop moaning and get down and Who is? Laz? No. <laughs> <laughs>、so. Which you can't tell because your hand's covering it. <laughs> 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 you see, you're above it. Oh, you can see, like, just mm -hmm. below it. Clearly, we cannot choose our things right now. Yeah. So, we're having the game choose for us. And I don't think it picks the same things between us. So, <laughs> okay, let's see what we got here. So, I got a cow, firewalls, missiles, the AT cannons, some cages, some slime. And some thunderstorms. I got a cow, some slime, the slow time, the firewall, the Trojans, the uh, fireball, and the the crowd, the the mob, and a shitload of beer. Well, so far, you're up one to zero. Up two to zero now. I got a score. That might be sucks. Oh, yeah, your goalie sucks. I just need my players to get the ball. <laughs> Goalies just suck in this, I think. Oh. Oh. Oh, I'm gonna try something crazy and try to get, try to Trojan my player. Oh no, I Trojan your player. Shit! <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, did you see oh, that? Oh fuck! <laughs> oh come on! I'm <laughs> fucking myself here. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I was almost five up on you already. Yeah. 
He crushed my cowboy with a cow! That's right. Ugh, my team is awful. I'll try trojaning again. Uh, the, <laughs> the tape is sticking to my mouse. Really? Yeah. Ugh, I can't like click click. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Let's get that. Ah, oh, come on. Oh, that's game. <laughs> oh, that was awful. What do you got for your beer? Oh, <laughs> oh nasty. Mm -hmm. There's a reason why you can buy 40 ounces of malt liquor for $6.99. So, it's not meant to be good, it's just meant to get you drunk. Mm. Yes, for me? Right, 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 I remember this now. So this is a special mode where this <laughs> trophy keeps shooting out balls. Both of our nets are on the same side, cool. and we're still trying to score on each other's net. Oh, like this is crazy. And it's set up for three Multi minutes. Multi-ball! <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Up on nothing! Go team! Two one three one. Oh, multi ball is bad. Yeah, I got no power ups that really help me here. Oh. Oh. Ah, I've Trojan your guy again. This is bullshit. Try <laughs> <laughs> ah. not to dump it all over the electronics like I did in episode three. Yeah. Ah, oh, fuck. Ooh, slow time. Nicely done. Uh, I'm trojan everybody. Everybody's a trojan. Well, I think I trojan like your whole team and none of mine. Time is slow forever. Except for my mouse keeps moving down. <laughs> Eight thirteen. <laughs> yeah. This is bad. Come on, team! Fuck them up! I got no power-ups that really help me. I'm gonna try and wall off my net. This started to remind me of... Ah, take that! TNT. Tried score on that! <laughs> yeah! Cheater, he cheater, takes cheater. the lead! <laughs> cheater, cheater, cheater! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you! No problem, I, want, I wanted to make it fair. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm out of shields. Oh, I, I'll tell you what I do it have, though. They lit it up. Don't you fucking do planes. <laughs> <laughs> Twister! <laughs> Run out the clock, boys! <laughs> Run out the clock! We've got them 39 to 21. Pick the freaking. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck this. <laughs> 39 to 21. Fuck okay. that. Scissors, please. It's getting real. Oh, oh god. Five minutes is left. Yeah. That was left? Yeah, this game will be done before then. We've already been doing this for 25 minutes? <laughs> yeah. Jesus. Nice. Waiting for player. Hold on. Hold on. Wait, I'm on the right now. What gives? Because <laughs> I'm the host now. Mm. Oh, shit. Oh, they're running the wrong way. Stupid cows. 
Do you know what I have? Count, <laughs> please. Oh, I think I know why, because... How did I get one? You got hurt and I didn't, but I think I know why. Yeah, he had more surface area to patch the tape. Or I just had my hair. Skills. That's what that's what going on. If he means when I kept head shutting him with my P250. <laughs> if he's watching, he probably heard me. Look at chat. What's chat saying? Chat saying stuff. Hey chat. Hi. I'm I'm hurting. <laughs> I'm uh Trojaning my players. Doing good. Doing good work. Are your players not getting sucked up? No, no, no. Oh yeah, did you see that? All Fuck those blocks? Did you see all those blocks from that goalie? <laughs> he blocked like 10 shots. Oh, no, 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 no. Well, I don't believe we're tied 2 2 now. I believe we are. So you don't know if you can say that. If you can say this, but you don't have to shut this. P250 up this. <laughs> <laughs> Them's fighting words, Laz. Them's fighting words. I'm assuming that's a Counter-Strike reference. It is, yeah. Okay. He uh, challenged me to like a death match the other night. And I decided to like... One versus one? Take more. Oh, we were like on the server with other people. Mostly bots, but primarily just us. And we kind of just like... Organically decided to like go pistols only against each other. Oh, oh, this is, oh, oh, this is way worse. <laughs> you have a strategy. It's bad, but it doesn't seem as heavy as the old English. But it could be just the old English talking right now. Could be. <laughs> All right, I got a pretty crazy strategy, but I think it's gonna work. <laughs> Oh god, the old English is starting to set in. You guys ready to see like some crazy shit? Oh, I'm not. In, I'm not in your server. You have to invite me. Oh, uh, yeah. Text me. I'll invite you again. It should keep your your thing. Up. I can redo my whole thing. Really kept mine. This cold 45 is gross, man. Yeah. Like, I guess you have cold 45 Are you in or is it out again? Because it's showing. Oh, I'm in. All right, like, you put the are in? <clears throat> yeah. Okay. All right. Let's see if the strategy works. I've been planning this for a year now. Oh, what's going on? Cannons. It's not the thing I got. Hold on. This is backfiring. Ah, oh, yeah! <laughs> no! My cannons! <laughs> Just stampede your ass. <laughs> I still won! What? <laughs> what? How did you get 11 goals? Because of the cannons! Oh, Jesus. <laughs> like, shortest game ever. <laughs> Best of seven? Sure. All right, I think I'm up. Cheers. Cheers. I think I'm up a couple games, but none of that matters. This is the winner takes all game 
whatever number we're on. <laughs> We've uh, enlisted some help from our live streaming friends, Lazarus and Janzer. Janzer. Lazarus has been helping Joe. Janzer's been helping me. We've chosen our strategies. We're going to play a breakaway. First person to lead by five goals takes the Footlaw tournament that's been built up for a year. Almost a year. It? Almost a year. Pretty much a year. Is your computer recording footage? <laughs> Good call. Yes, it is. Good. So you'll be able to watch our uh, our final match here. Ready? I'm ready. We're going to be pounding our second almost 40 here. Quick play. Bring it. Cheers. Cheers. I moved my nets. I've sent his players off to the sidelines so they can't do anything. I've, uh... Already won. Are you kidding me? That was very anticlimactic. <laughs> oh shit! Sex nothing. <laughs> Lazarus, you said go fucking <laughs> mine. <sighs> like I killed one of your players too. It's probably your fucking goalie that kept getting all the fucking goals too. Ah! <laughs> Shall we rematch? Let's do it. That was too quick. Let's rematch. Let's rematch. Let's do it. Okay. The second version of our final round. Cheers! Cheers! Fucking play! Sending his players off. How are you at twenty? What the fuck happened?
You and me, Janzer! Fucking Janzer. I'm not entirely sure what happened, but we've won. Well, if you're satisfied, I'm satisfied. I'm satisfied. I just want this fucking thing out of my hand. Cheers, man. <laughs> Cheers. The football tournament ends. We're very... Adam's the victor. Not by, not by much. But, uh, it was down 2 nothing. Looking bleak. Came back. This is the worst fucking beer I've I ever had. Never, ever been ah, entire life. If you're thinking like, hey, Cold Forty Five, I can get drunk for cheap. There's like take, one of those take, things. Take the like, old English. It's it's better. Gangster rap. It's it's songs it's, and videos. It's, it's better. Don't don't just don't just stay, just stay don't. sober. Don't yeah. don't. Both of you, don't. Yeah. Just don't. Stay sober. It's... Uh, I actually... Fucking, I went over... Uh, and... Just don't. Just don't. don't. Uh. Well, that's episode 15. We that said was, we'd uh, bring you a football tournament. We did. We said we'd bring you something special for episode 15. We did. Uh, I will be honest, I threw up a little bit at my front door. Uh, arguably, I will defend myself and say it was all food. Granted. But you guys can be the judge of that. Probably you think a picture I of the drank too much. All no one wants to see that. No one wants to see that. See, I, I will grant you that. If they do want to see that, then they should have been here. Yeah, that's right. I will grant you that you drank more of the Colt 45, although I will claim that I had two drinks at the airport before coming here. I feel like it evens out. At lunch? At lunch? Come on. <laughs> we started this at 8 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> when were you at the airport? 4 o'clock. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Which is later than lunch. <laughs> so that's up to you guys. Twelve thirty versus four. I'll leave it up to you guys. Anyways, if you guys want more of this kind of stuff, let us know. Respond in the comments. Um, I had fun. I had fun. <laughs> Even went, though we had like the little like, moment outside the fucking camera. Um. It actually made me feel a lot better. I just oh, honestly, yeah. like, we talked right. about this. I was like, we should only have, like, half the food and then food afterwards. But I said, if I have too much food, what did I say? Well, if I have too much food, what's going to happen? Did, but people can be different, man. I'd rather eat much before. I don't know. I'd rather I, I knew, as much in my I, stomach. I know my body. I knew what would happen if I had too much food. I was supposed to have two slices of the pizza. I had three. And I paid for it. I didn't force it. I know, you didn't force me at all. <laughs> it was me. I the fucking pizza is so good. Anyways. Good. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. We'll see you guys real soon. Two weeks. We're going back to the two week format. So, uh. We'll see you guys soon. See you soon. With, uh. Yeah, thank you, Laz. Thank you, Janzer. Yes, thank you for watching our live stream. And, uh, if you guys want to watch us on live stream again, push. Dot TV slash brew games. That. Anyways, we we had too much. We're done. Good night. Cheers. You know what I mean? You gotta drink. I'm done enough that it doesn't taste as bad anymore. Still terrible. <laughs>